According to Children's Aid, my birth mother was a Canton Alley lady of the night with an insatiable itch. I didn't believe a word of it. Children's Aid was a pack of no-good lying child stealers. They scooped me up as a toddler. No birth certificate, just a moldy diaper and cradle cap tied to the front porch by a leash. Brought me back to the orphanage to de-louse me before shipping me off to my first foster. My father was every drunk on the streets of New Westminster, one of countless shell-shocked shells of men staggering down the quay, a flask on each hip and a lady of the night for each limb lost on Vimy Ridge. He was Irish, maybe Dutch. I looked for my mother in every woman I saw. She was the one carrying milk crates, all ebony victory rolls and freckles, the one in the apple orchard with terracotta skin and a chipped grin. I saw her in the faded Soldiers Without Guns posters at the motorcycle club, dressed in flannel and a welding helmet that looked like Napoleon's bicorn. I knew that my mom, whoever she was, was soft and strong, the way a mother should be, a gentle current carrying her child through this awful world. Not like Belia, or the nuns at the orphanage, who were erratic and sharp as a midsummer hailstorm. Every time I was down at the river, swaddled by the soothing taffeta of liquid, I felt my mother, the force of the torrent and the pacifying sweetness of water, searching. That morning, at high water, Mrs. Belia had melted into a mirage of my mother. The window glow ironed out the deep lines in her face, and refracted early sunlight spilled into her eyes, sparkling polygons of gold and river green. Her silver hair was dipped in shadow, turning it raven black. She hummed along to Moonlight Serenade as she buttered hot rye bread. Then she stepped away from the window and turned back into her sea hag self. Use your right hand. No devil's grip in this house. She clocked me in the back of the head with her cold, flower-caked hands. I'd been in her care for two long years, and I was still buck-fisted and feral, still teeming with bad spirits. Mrs. Belia took to fastening my devil arm behind my back with a ripped apron. But even a year later, using my right hand still felt wrong and inverted, like looking at life through a mirror. It took me eons to finish a meal.